What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. So today uh, I got me a PlayStation wireless headset. This is the official PlayStation headset right here. As you can see, my box came uh, kind of beat up. But you know what? It's okay. I think the product inside is okay. So uh, we're going to go ahead and unbox this. Um, and let's talk about why you would want to get one of these versus like another headset. Let's say... Uh, the one I'm using right now is like a HyperX right here. Um, yeah, uh, th this is the official PlayStation and uh, basically it works the same as like a PC headset because it comes with um, a, a USB that you can plug into a PC and obviously the same thing as PlayStation, you can plug that into. Finding a good wireless headset is actually a very hard thing by the way. Um, like you don't understand like the comfortability of it where you can sit for like six hours of gaming. Don't tell my wife that I sit, sit on here for six hours to play games, but uh, but yeah, that's that's kind of the deal right there. Okay, so let's take a look at what's inside this box right here. Um, obviously, it's it's a it's a built-in rechargeable batteries. It's uh, just just like my HyperX, which is why I love it. It has some uh, microphones technology that you know makes you sound really good. Wow, yeah, uh, the box was like really beat up from the inside. Just kind of weird. This thing is all over the place now. So, yeah, okay. Well, first you have the PlayStation headset here. We got ourselves some, what is this? What is this? Some cables. Here's a USB-A. Yeah, I should say USB-A, receiver, get yourself some uh, 3.5 millimeter cords uh, in case if you don't want to do wireless or your, your battery runs out on it, you can plug this thing in, still keep going. By the way, the PlayStation controller has the uh, jack right here that you can jack right into it, so that's what it's going to be used for, like that. Okay, which is great. You're, you're kind of still wireless in a way. I mean, because it's really, the controller is wireless, so you're connecting it on the controller. So really, there's no wire between you and the console, which is good. Um, and then you got a uh, USB-C, which is nice because the PlayStation uses USB-C to charge uh, uh, as well, the PlayStation controller. So I can use this on that, um, but it looks like that's what this is using right here to charge. Okay, well that's uh, that's all the, the extra accessory that comes with it other than the instruction booklet. Sorry. Uh, so let's take a look at this baby here. A nice little protection on the headband there. Uh, you know what? This design actually reminds me of the Alienware uh, headset. It's about this size right here, um, this thick right here. If you look at this, look how plush this thing is. Uh, obviously, uh, once I, I tap into it, this is like where the headset actually stops right here. It feels really nice. The leather. Um, I mean, I hate to compare it once again to my uh, HyperX, but the, my HyperX is actually pretty good when it comes to the leather. So this is not bad for the price of a wireless first-party headset. The build quality is really nice. Oh my gosh, you've got to touch this headband right here so you see this little headband right here look at that i don't know if you can really see how thick this thing is but this thing is incredibly nice i mean the leather it's not leather it's it's it's, it's a rubber but it's just super nice and how are they doing this right here where it just looks so seamless so this thing right here look at this when, when i move this let me see if I can get my hand out of the way. When I move this, do you see that? 
it's just seamless. Uh, it doesn't look like there's anything in between it. How are they doing that? Oh, okay, got it. Yeah, it looks it looks great. I don't know how they're doing this. I'm very impressed with this thing. Um, mainly be because let me show you another wireless headset that that I've gotten, which is has been my longtime favorite. Is is kind of this right here. This is the Steel Series. Uh, I believe this is the Seven Series. Um, but look at this this headband right here. If, when I first got it, I didn't think I would like it. But let me tell you, this is one of the most comfortable headband be because of, of this right here. And PlayStation has pretty much um, incorporate that into this, except it 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 looks very well integrated in the design. You know, when you pull this thing up, it doesn't look like there's anything uh, going with it. I, I don't know how to explain it. Um, it's just really nice. I like it. So anyway, let's uh, let's talk about all the buttons right here. Uh, we we got ourselves uh, game and chat. I believe this is. Um, uh, it's just like my Steel Siri headset right here, where you can uh, say if you want chat to be louder or the game sound to be louder, and that's kind of what that is right there, I believe. And here's on and off monitoring. Hmm, I need to find out what that is. Uh, that is something new to me. I've never seen it in all the other headset before. There's a mute button on here which is nice. And then the volume button, obviously. 3.5 millimeter, USB-C right there, uh, power on and off. So let's go ahead and power it on. Once you power it on, uh, you, can, you have a little light right here that tells you that it's on. So let me see the flexibility of this. It can go pretty far. You guys seen this, right? I mean, this is, my head's big, and this is way bigger than my head. You know what, that's a, that's a nice fit. Like, it feels really good when I put it on. It's just like my SteelSeries headset. The HyperX headset, um, it's, it's a little uh, tight whenever I put it on. But I think because of this, this uh, headband design right here, this is why I think it feels like it's weightless on your head, on, on, on here at least. The ear cups itself, it's, uh, it feels like the HyperX actually, where it's really plush. It's super thick. So if, honestly, I don't know if you like that or not. That might be a good and bad thing for some people. For, for me, I don't like it super plush. I like it just right. Um, this, this one right here feels like it's super plush. Um, again, I have a really big head, and so my ears, um, my ears actually go, it, it, it's, well, it's obviously it's bigger. So this headset right here, the cup actually goes right around it. I think it, it fits me perfectly. Um, there are some ear cup where, you know, it won't go all around your ears. Uh, what that does is that it, it causes um, uh, sound to leak in, and so you don't want that. But this one right here, the ear cups are uh, a lot bigger than, than I had anticipated. Very nice. Um, so the one thing to also take notice here, guys, is that you see this right here? There's, there's like a little uh, indention inside here. I don't know if I can show you that or not because it's, it's just like literally pure black. Um, but yeah, there's like, it's, it's not just a flat, it's not just a flat uh, speaker in here. It's kind of a little indention so that it will kind of fit to your ear contour. I don't know if that makes sense or not. So yeah, your ear actually like fits onto it. It conform to that little contour inside there. I wish I, I can show you this a lot more clear, uh, but it is all black in, in here. And so it's kind of hard to show you. So you, you see that right there? There's, there's some extra room for your earlobes. So that's really nice if you are like wearing earrings or something like that. That gives you some room right there to kind of breathe in there. Versus some of the other headsets, um, it, it's just like flat. So like this one right here, this is just, this is just basically flat. 
Um, I have to say, overall, the design is uh, it's, it's nice because, you know what, if I put it right next to my controller uh, and my PlayStation, it's, it, looks, it looks like it blends in. So if you have like a white look to your gaming PC setup, I think this is going to go very well with it. Well, uh, besides that, I think the form factor is nice. Uh, comfort feels nice. The sleek design looks good. Um, the only other thing is I really can't tell you how good the sound would be. That's kind of like how you feel about the sound. But I just know that uh, they've advertised the sound quite a bit on this thing where it's like awesome sound. So it must be good. I'm going to give it a try and then I'll probably make another video to tell you how I feel about it. But until next time, guys, uh, that's it for me. Have a good one. Bye-bye.